This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to reset the stored settings of a ZPR file to ZBrush defaults? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about ZPR or project files and resetting the settings that are stored in those. So a ZPR file is created by coming up to the file menu here and clicking save as. Now when you save a ZPR file, it's going to save certain settings inside of ZBrush. So it will save any tools that you have loaded over here. It'll save any of the lighting information that you currently have selected. And it'll also save things like materials. So if I come to the material browser here, you can see that the earthquake project file here has some custom materials. So it has this toy plastic and also this basic material that are associated with this ZPR file. So the question is asking about how to reset those things and still have your model inside of ZBrush, but not have any of those settings saved. So you just want to have this mesh in a default version of ZBrush. So how can you go by doing that? So as an example here with Earthquake, if you only have a single tool saved in your tool palette over here that's storing with your ZPR file, you can simply come up here to the tool palette and click Copy Tool. And this will just store a copy of the mesh into memory. Then we come over here to the Preferences tab and we can click Initialize ZBrush. Now when you click Initialize ZBrush here, it's going to return ZBrush back to the default settings. So this would be returning ZBrush to what it would be if you just simply executed the program and did not load any project files. So I'm just going to click this button here and then it's going to ask me if I do want to initialize. So I'm going to click Yes. And after this is done, your ZBrush should end up looking something like this. So as you can see, Earthquake is no longer loaded in my scene here. I have been defaulted back to this red wax material, and I just have a blank canvas. So now with my scene like this, I can now come over to the tool palette over here, and I can simply click Paste Tool. So this is going to take that tool that I copied or stored in memory of Earthquake there, and it's going to now paste it back into my scene. So I'm just come over here and click Paste. And now you'll see I have that Earthquake tool loaded back into ZBrush here. So now I can simply just make sure I have that selected and then draw it out on my canvas and now go into edit mode. Now you'll notice that Earthquake looks a little bit different. And this is because Earthquake was using those custom materials that were associated with that ZPR file. So if I go back over to my material palette over here, you can see that that toy plastic and that basic material are no longer in ZBrush here. So we have successfully reset the material palette back to the defaults. And since Earthquake had some of those materials baked into his poly paint, they're showing up incorrect because those materials no longer exist. So if you want to reset the materials on Earthquake here and remove the ones that are baked in, you just open up the subtool palette here and just select a subtool, change your material to flat color, go up to the top and make sure M is on, and to make sure RGB and MRGB are turned off. Then go to the color palette over here and simply do a fill object. And this will fill the selected object with the material of flat color, which is going to remove that baked in material. So now I can go through and just simply press down arrow to select the next subtool in my list. Go back to color, do fill object, press down arrow again and just keep pressing down arrow and fill object until I have all the materials removed from those subtools. So now I just should have the RGB version of the poly paint on Earthquake. And now if I select a new material here, like Skin Shade 4, it's now going to fill correctly across all those subtools. So now I have a version of Earthquake here that is in a default scene and has the default materials loaded. So now if I come up to File and do a Save As, it's now going to give me a clean ZPR version of Earthquake here. Now another thing you can do as well, so let's go back to the project of Earthquake. So I'm just going to go in the light box here, and I'm going to select Earthquake again. Just reload that project, the one with the stored materials and the stored lighting and the stored background color. And then I'm gonna go back in the light box and I'm now just gonna do the tool palette and I'm gonna select the dog model and just load that in as well. So now let's say I have a project file and this project file has multiple tools over here. So it has earthquake and it has the dog. Well, since this has two tools, I can't use this copy function because it's only gonna copy one of the tools. 
so I can't copy Earthquake and the dog and then paste them into a new default scene. So if you have multiple tools in your scene and you want to reset to a default project file and then load these tools back in, you just need to come to the tool palette up here and just save these as ZTL files. So I'm just gonna select Earthquake here and now go to Save As. And this is just going to save the tools. So it's just going to save Earthquake and it's not gonna save any of the stored settings. I'm just gonna save the ZTL of Earthquake there. And then I'm gonna select the dog and go to Tools Save As again. And then just save the dog out. So now I have saved these files as separate ZTL files. So now I can go to the Preferences tab here, do Initialize ZBrush again, click Yes to the dialog. I'm gonna come back to that blank canvas there. I can now go to the Tool Palette and click Load Tool. And select Earthquake, and he'll load in. Then I go to Load Tool again, and I can select the dog, and he'll load in. Now I can draw these out on the canvas like so, and go into Edit Mode, and you'll see now I have the dog by itself without any of the ZPR information that was stored in that Earthquake file and I also have Earthquake. And you can see Earthquake here is back to being linked to those custom materials that were inside of that ZPR file. So that is another method that you can do. So instead of storing a ZPR file through File Save As, you can store separate ZTL files through Tools Save As, and these will store just as the tool themselves, and it won't contain any of the other information that is stored with a ZPR file. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.